Good morning and welcome to a day in my life. Hey, I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where, that's not how I say it. Hey, I'm Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome for the very first time all around. Welcome. I'm Carrie Blogger, a career freelancer on Fiverr.com where I've been selling as a Fiverr Pro verified copywriter for about the past eight and a half years. And in today's freelance party video, I'm taking you along with me for a day in my life as a freelance copywriter. This is 100% what I do. I work online offering copywriting services for clients all around the world. The whole work for yourself, set your own hours thing. It's real. I've done a bunch of these videos. And I actually have a whole playlist dedicated to all of these. And I think that my day pretty much always looks the same. Like it doesn't look super interesting to me, um, but you guys seem to like them. And I just want to be transparent and honest about what it really looks like to be the, the work from home person. But before we get into that, we have to announce this week's blogger of the week. And if you would like to be the blogger of the week, just like Dina Galal, all you have to do is drop a comment down below and you might get picked. It's currently 8.30 in the morning. I woke up at 7.30 this morning and then laid in bed for a literal hour <laughs> answering Fiverr messages is always the first thing I do when I wake up and I read the New York Times. I talked to my French pen pal. I checked my investment accounts, answered YouTube comments and read some other articles just for fun. My mornings are almost always like this. I've kind of created a morning routine for myself, um, which has lasted for almost two months now. I'm really enjoying it. Every day I start with a little journaling exercise and I'm gonna do a quick shout out to Progress Over Perfection. They're called Pop Journals. I actually found out about this journal because this is a client of mine and I was doing some writing for her and she sent me a journal just to see it in person, say thanks. And I genuinely love it. It's so simple. It's, it's really simple and I feel like the prompts are very purposeful. Gosh, I'm out of breath. I'm um, almost six months pregnant and literally doing that is like way too much work. Um, the prompts are today I'm feeling, my intention today is your grateful list of five things you love, uh, a self-affirmation for yourself, and then five mini goals. And then the evening, what did you learn today that your future self will thank you for? Celebrate your wins. What are you proud of yourself today for? And then any notes. And genuinely, it's so easy, it's so simple, but it really gives me a nice focused framework to start the day. And then the other simple thing I do every morning is I read out loud in French to myself just for practice. So I bought the first five Harry Potter books in French, I'm still in the first one because I'm a slow French reader. And so I read four, two or four pages every day out loud. And I genuinely feel like I'm getting better. Un vieux parapluie noir tout. Un vieux parapluie noir. Un vieux parapluie noir tout fripé. Un vieux parapluie. Un vieux parapluie noir tout fripé. Un vieux parapluie noir tout fripé. Do you want to go for a walk? Every time. Look at this little guy. just a walk for me. I really miss running, but now that I'm this far pregnant, I can't. So I am walking for a mile this morning just to get some exercise and listening to The Girl with a Louding Voice on audiobook by Abby Dure or Dare. It's almost 10 o'clock now and I'm gonna start work, but not work work, if that makes sense. One of the projects I have going on in the side is I wrote a novel, a sci-fi novel, and I'm going to self-publish it. And so I have a pre-launch date set for December 10th. The actual publish date is gonna be January 10th. And I have a lot of things to do in the next 20 weeks to make that happen. So I've written out this really daunting schedule for myself to assign tasks so that I have a clear plan from here till then of what I need to do so things don't get overwhelmed or missed. And today's thing is to start making some accounts through publishers and um, just getting like accounts set up. So it's not gonna take me super long, but that's what I'm gonna start with. Okay, so it's 11 o'clock and uh, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at me. So there's two big projects I have to do today, actual work projects. Uh, one is a set of five descriptions that are 150 words each for an e-commerce um, 
product. And then the other thing, I actually don't even remember yet what it is, but I have one other thing too this afternoon. I just finished one of fi those five descriptions. Uh, it's 11 o'clock, that's as far as I've gotten so far. But right now I'm gonna go to the pool. I already walked this morning, which is lovely, uh, but I wanna go swim for about half an hour. Then I'll probably eat lunch and then get back to work this afternoon. This is it guys, this is the day. Twelve forty-five. I swam. I ate a healthy little veggie omelet scramble thing that I made for lunch. Took a shower, and now I'm gonna get back into work mode. It's time to get it done. Most of the time, I work in my office, but since we have mostly set up the nursery, I like to work in here. It's very cozy. So this is what my Fiverr account looks like, all the orders that I have in my queue. Of course, the buyer usernames are blocked out just for their privacy. And here is a quick screen cast, screen grab, screenshot, or <laughs> screen recording of me in the writing process. Um, this is actually from this morning when I was working on the first of those five product descriptions, but um, this is always what my screen looks like. I don't know if this is helpful or interesting for you, but I always split the screen so that I have my resources on the left-hand side, and then what I'm actually writing is on the right. Um, I have some Word document templates set up for the different types of orders so I can just jump in and get started right away. And I don't typically write in drafts. I just dive in and write it and do it right the first time. All right, it's two o'clock, little work check-in. I did finish those five descriptions for the custom, you know, address home sign Boulder company that I was working with. That was $625 and it took me about an hour and 20 minutes in total for all five. And then the only other thing I have to do today is a short 250 word blog for a lovely biscotti company. So I'm looking forward to that. Should be fun to write, should be quick and we'll see how long it takes. Well, folks, it's 2.30 and I am officially done with work. Yes, that order was $165 for 250 word blog, including title ideas and future topic post ideas. And I finished that in about 30 minutes. The topic was fall inspired cocktails for like a harvest party or, you know, fall fire pit get together that you would be served with their pumpkin spice biscotti, which is, uh, sounds delicious and was super fun to write. So now that work's done. What the heck do I do for the rest of the day? I have a weird task. I need to go junk our truck. Uh, my husband's old truck was a beater when he got it. It was super cheap. It lasted us for what we needed it to do. And now it has officially run itself into the ground. So I have to go sell that for scrap and get a ride back from my mom. I think I'm just gonna walk to their house to get the truck. Yeah, I walk and swim and eat healthy and stuff. And then I eat this big old Danish for a snack. So it all evens out. Forgot to mention that I was a handyman today and I replaced this broken gate lock on our fence. Maybe I'll work on my baby shower invitation list. I need to ask people for their addresses so I can start addressing envelopes. Yeah, I'll just pitter patter like I have all day and we'll see how it fills up. Okay, it's six o'clock and I'm about to sign out of my day. Okay, we need to address the weird elephant in the room. I don't know if any of you noticed as much as I did when editing this, but I don't know why I changed my clothes like five times today. I, it don't, just don't hate on me, it's weird. I know we'll just let it go. I got my $200 check for scrapping that truck. Yay. Now I'm about to go on yet another walk, if you can believe it. Oh my gosh, but my dog needs his afternoon walk. And I'm gonna cap out the day by going to a high school soccer game. So all in all, that was my whole day. As I always say, there are no normal days in freelancing. Every day is unique, every day looks different, but this is pretty on par for what I can normally expect. I'm gonna go for a walk, yeah? And if 
if you're still watching, you know you're my actual hero. Thank you so, so much for being here and just enjoying my channel. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you're interested. So you can find some really cool links to some stuff I've got going on in the pinned comment and description down below. Make sure to check that out. You know that you are worth so much more, so much more than your workload. And let's get back to work.